I said I wanted to be a bull rider, and so my dad did everything he could to help me be successful. And you know, we kept get practice steers and practice bulls around, and we would go to the cell barn every Friday, and anything that looked like it might be a bucking bull, we'd buy it. But the one rule was it couldn't be me which dad was really good at telling if a bull was mean or not. Well, me and Joe, we'd go and, that one has horns, let's buy him. And one of the times we brought one of those bulls home and bucked him and he didn't really buck that hard, but he went straight down the middle of the arena. And we, at my house, you know, we, you ride for 12 to 15 seconds. There's no eight second whistle. Like you better, you better be riding good or there's not gonna be a whistle blown. And that bull goes all the way down to the end of the arena and I fall off when he turns at the back fence. and said Joe and dad are clear on the other side of the arena this bull turns around and just hooks the crud out of me like hits me under the chin it was really muddy down there and you know that was I get the biggest lesson there was for one get up and run and number two me and Joe weren't allowed to buy the bulls at the cell barn anymore because we weren't as good at telling which ones were mean and 